Hey, it's Riggs and intern Steve from the Morning Hog, ready to try some half-wall brewing flavors, some classics, and a brand new surprise we're going to get into. JR and his half-wall minions are ready. Josh from SR Parat is ready. Let's do this. It's a Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog, Daytona's rock station. Riggs and intern Steve, the Morning Hog, now handing it over... To our friend Josh from SR Parade, it's a morning hog brew right now. Hey. Hey. What's up? How's your hey. beard? How's your beard doing, buddy? It's been all right, yeah, I guess. Looks yeah. good today. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I just wanted to say that. You don't get to say that to a gentleman very often. <laughs> it was it was fashionable back in like the thirties, right? Know? And then now nobody's done it since then. So I'm bringing it back. Okay. You're also bringing back old friends. Yeah. Look who's here? Got a crowd with our us guests. Today. Yeah, so we got a half wall with us today. Half wall. Half wall. Okay. See that. <laughs> half the wall. Let's do it. Get this thing, let's get this thing clapping. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Do you know why it's called half wall? Uh, I, 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 so I've been to the new no. Smyrna one most recently. There's a lot of walls in there, so I have no idea anymore what it means. So they literally have half a wall of beer. Oh, okay. Oh, in each location. Sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty All right. That's, <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, Half Wall not only serves beer, but makes beer, don't they? Correct. Over yeah. at the New Smyrna location, uh, they actually brew their own beer. So I'm going to introduce JR, the head brewer there. JR! Our, How you talk doing? Talk a little bit. I haven't seen JR since we were oh, over no. at the uh, at the racetrack yeah. for a little little turkey run tasting. You guys even remember that? Or? I, re- I remember yeah. it. Because yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. there's video and pictures. <laughs> yeah. Blurry ones. But I can, yeah, I make it out because his name's on his shirt. That's why I do that. Fair yeah. enough. It's easy to find. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good to see you again, though, man. Same here. How, Same how are the uh, half wall beers? I see uh, some recognizable and some not. Yeah. So yeah. I know we're going we're gonna to get weird with this thing. Yeah, today, a little I guess. bit. Yeah. A little bit. I'm hoping. So uh, it's been a long time. And um, what was it? Uh, would be four right after COVID, right? Yeah. Last time we did it. Yeah. Yeah, right um, before everything started getting shut down yeah. and couldn't have everybody in the studio. It's time to remind everybody that uh, you can get these uh, beers at uh, at stores. You don't have to just go to Apple. That is correct. So uh, they actually can their own product. Yeah. Um, so you can find it at local retailers, Total Wines, uh, some ABCs right now, your local independents. Um, and then... Well, we'll talk a little bit more here shortly, but you'll be able to find it here in a lot more places well, like this. coming up. Okay. And don't forget srprod.com slash beer finder. We'll tell you more about that. Uh, all right. Well, let's, uh, we're getting thirsty doing all this talking. Yeah, so oh, yeah. Should we well, let's try let's let me just introduce my minions. Oh, don't uh-huh. please? Yeah. yeah. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> JR, I'm so sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We, so, we, we uh, ran out of chairs for these gentlemen. That's all right. They like standing. <laughs> <laughs> So I have Ryan. He's my assistant brewer. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. All right. All the dirty yeah. work that yeah. uh, uh, yeah. It, it, he really comes in handy. I got to yeah. give him props because <laughs> he does do a lot of the dirty stuff right. that a brewery entails. And, and, and Ryan was very jealous because we had already given away our prize last week. He wanted to join us for the Michael Bolton Dream Day, but it didn't work out. Yeah, Sorry, his Ryan. wife. But that's yeah. Right. She'll probably yeah. fight him over. I did get his cell number at the show. I'll hook you up. Don't worry about it. There you go. You can give him a call sometime. And call then the I have um, Jeff over Jeff. here. He does our sales. Hey, nice. Jeff. Welcome, right. sir. Hello, hello. Welcome to our Plus Studios. <laughs> now, you guys didn't get your names on your shirts. Is that like a power move that JR made? Or? He paid yeah. for his own embroidery. Yeah. If you want, Steve yeah, Steve just got a bunch of tape and put his on it. We can get some duct tape and make uh-huh. that happen in like no time. By the end of the segment, you guys will have your own names on your shirts. Mm-hmm. I've got two rolls. Yeah. Two yeah. rolls. Right yeah. over there. So you're good to go. You'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you and your minions making uh, uh, not only the uh, this beer accessible to everybody, but making it taste great, too. Right. Right. And that's my job. Yeah. And it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. So it's uh, very passionate for me. Very, uh, you know, on point. I try to do a good job and. Um, you know, uh, really, it's up to you guys. Yeah, you like so let's it try it. You, yeah, I know you've already succeeded, but let's prove it again. Let's, let's do, do it. it again. Where, Where do we, we go first? Start? Uh, we'll start with the blonde ale, the okay. lightest of the of the bunch. All right. Okay. Uh, this blonde ale is um, I've done a middle of the road. Because blonde ales could go either way: too hoppy, too sweet, to this, to that, and uh, so I wanted to kind of give everybody coming in a little bit of good, bad, and different, whatever. Um. And did you have a beer that you were trying to uh, model this after? Uh, or something between? No. Yeah. You know, people no. ask me that. Yeah. And I really tell them I'm making my own beer. Yeah. I'm not trying to follow anybody. I'm I not trying you. to uh, be like anybody else. Oh, yeah. Sure. And uh, just, mm. you know, kind of show That's off. good. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. This so is. this is a uh, blue trailer blonde, correct? Yeah. Blue trailer blonde. So what's the story behind blue trailer? Well, the, the story is interesting because... While the restaurant was getting 
remodeled and built. Right. Because remember, it used to be the old Club 44. That's right. All I remember is wet t-shirt contest. That's right. what I hear. <laughs> That's right. I mean, Allegedly. I mean, Allegedly, yeah. I've never emceed one of those. So um, this they had a blue trailer outside brewing beer. And it got so hot in the trailer that they had to put a mask on. <laughs> and be, being a blonde, right? And that's what the mask is with the ah, blonde. It's like Walter trailer. White. Oh. Yeah, that, that's just okay. taken from an actual photograph. I would imagine, probably, right? <laughs> it's yeah, like an artist rendering. She's of, really old now. But. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> the mask helps. Yeah, uh, but that, this is great. This is uh, mm-hmm. I, I see where you, if you're going to start somewhere, this is the right place to start. Right, yeah. super easy. Little, little, just slightly got a sweet taste to it. Yep, it's a little, little bit of sweetness, sweetness on the back end. Mm-hmm. Really nice, easy mm-hmm. drinking. What's the ABV on that one? This was uh, four and a half. Oh, okay. okay. So all you can day. do those all Throw day. Throw them back. All day. Yeah, and mind you, during my uh, tweaking phase, yes. some of them might have been a little higher, but uh, <laughs> sure. I didn't say that. Sure. sure. The average <laughs> settles out the at average four. Is four. Yeah. That's four it. change. That's a keep yourself honest kind of uh, beer at yeah. four. Yeah, like, all right, yeah. that's fine. Okay, that's a great one. Mm. All right, where do we go next? All mm. right, the next one's going to be the Emily's Irish Red. Okay. Ooh, okay. Right. Um, I haven't had a red in a while. Yeah. This uh, this red has been my my how would you say my really my baby okay because really? I've, I wanted to make a red that was really on point really true to nature okay um, the predecessor who made it before I had to change the recipe around a little bit all right uh, it, it looked like a brown ale it looked like tasted like a coffee okay so I made this with some coffee notes. Toffee, caramel, okay, a little on the sweeter side, and right. this comes in at about uh, four point seven. Okay, mm. so what is the different? What what is the uh, what are the subtleties between like a a brown ale and a red and a red? Oh, uh, what well, is- brown ales usually end up being more coffee type. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people put chocolate Ooh. in it. Gotcha. Uh, but uh, this one. That's good. I, mm. I wanted to kind of really show everybody what a red ale should taste like. Yes, in my opinion. Yes. Yeah, red ales you, you typically get a little bit more hoppiness than you would out of brown, brown ale, and yeah. then it kind of finishes up with that nice sweet malt, maltiness yeah, in the background. It does. It does. Doesn't it? Look at Steve. He's like he's like slamming his. I get it. I like a good red yeah, ale. Yeah, red good. a while. He's yeah. It's been a while. He's now into red. Been a while. <laughs> it's been, yeah. a, it's yeah. been a long while. Yeah. Well, I have a story too yeah. uh, for the uh, Emily's that's on here. Let's hear it. Because that has a story too. This is the uh, boss's uh, daughter. Okay. Okay. Oh. However, she doesn't look like. That. Right. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want her likeness used? You sign uh, yeah. off on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it is her name. Okay. Uh, and they modeled that one after after Emily. Is the uh, and, and so when you. When you put that to, in order of when you put these together, is that the order that they went? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you did actually start from simple, and then right now we're going to mix it up. Yeah. Right. We're going blonde. We're going red. Right. Start making it a little bit more complex. And get it. Mm-hmm. It's so it's uh, it's this is why you have the palette of uh, right. of uh, of options in half wall. <laughs> right. That's that's exactly right. Uh, yeah. I see two more unopened cans. Let's take yeah. a break. When we come back, we uh, got more to talk about half wall, and I understand there's some sort of announcement or something. There's some reveal. <laughs> There's yeah, some, some excitement yeah. on the backside. There you go, excited. We're, we're totally like excited. Yeah, obviously, yeah. it's Friday oh, yeah. morning. We're drinking beer for Christ's sake. <laughs> we're wrapping. We're wrapping up. We're almost to the Super Bowl. We got to make football pit. We got a lot to do. Uh, stick around. The morning hog brew review. Uh, that's Josh and from SR Pro and all of our friends from Half Wall. Stick around. <laughs> 957 Hog Daytona's Rock Station. Right now, it's Daytona's Beverage Station. That's right. Because Josh from SR Prod is here for the Morning Hog Brew Review and our friends from Half Wall. Yeah. yeah. JR and his minions. Minions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love it. Uh, they technically have names, but you, <laughs> you're in charge of that. Yeah. They don't have them on the shirts yet. By the way, Steve tried to, during the break, Steve tried to put those on there and it, the tape fell off. I was getting too close to the nipple area. Yeah, it's very humid <laughs> in here. Sorry. <laughs> Terrible. We'll work on it later. Uh, we do have two more beers to try, and I don't, I don't have any idea what's in that can that we're about to get into. Right. So this one. Is the the surprise right? This yeah. is a, this Ooh. one's we're excited about. I like this. So this is a newly canned product. Uh, so the beer has been out there for some time on draft at their locations and actually out out in the market as well. Okay. Um, this is grape blooms. Okay, yeah. <laughs> grape blue grape. Yeah. 
Great. Oh, great. Yep. Okay. Blooms. When you see the can, you'll know great exactly blooms. why. Yeah. Okay. The, the can has some. Uh, oh, wow. Some yeah. Choice artwork on it. So I can explain the uh, okay. the bloobs. Okay. Okay. Does that right. make sense? <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you saying boobs? No, bloobs. Oh, bloobs. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, bloobs. I would never. Did you oh, say? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, can I? Let me try to say <laughs> oh. it. Oh yeah, it bleeped it out. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> Wait till right. you see the the color on this though. Okay. It, yeah, so this is a blueberry wheat ale. Oh, oh and wow. this is made with Yummy. real blueberry, not oh. extract, not This is JR's been in the evil science lab. Oh on this one. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I get what's going on here now. Let me smell this thing. Oh, that's a nose right there. So you can tell this is made Ooh. with real blueberries just by looking at it. Wow. The color isn't that like neon blue where people are trying to fake hey, we have blueberries in this. It's almost a purple color. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Are you getting that? Oh my gosh, I got all of it. Wow. Are you I getting need a that? cigarette? Are you getting <laughs> <laughs> I quit over a year ago. Wow. Okay. Mm. Well, that I'm uh, a fan of the I'm a fan of uh yeah. blueberry beers. Yeah. We've we've mm. we've had some on this show. This is a whole different level. So this, this is like this is a wheat. This is a blueberry forward, crushing, non-sweet, right, right, uh, concoction. Yeah. Uh, outstanding. I still Perfect. wanted a beer to come through. Wow. Yeah. Uh, as the well wheat as the flavors pronounced perfectly well. balanced, which is nice. Perfectly balanced. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Wow. Wow, dude. Thanks. How wow. long did that uh, take you to uh, um, to craft? <laughs> I've been there two and a half years, so... Really? About... You've been stirring berries for two and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And finally... Did blueberries just move up on the chart? Yeah, by the way, we should go to our berry chart right now. Uh, uh, raspberry is down to number two now. Well, blueberry is at number, number one. one. Yeah. Well, raspberry was your favorite? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you know what? It just depends Have on you... what the berries we try in here. Don't ask Josh. Don't point to me. Tell yeah. Josh, tell Josh, he's, Josh is in charge of the berries. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, God dang it! We're having a good time. Let's not involve berries in it. Yeah. Uh, no, but that's outstanding. Wow. Okay, so tell, tell us the process. You have real, where do you get real blueberries? Well, we get them frozen in, and I use a blueberry-like uh, puree. Okay. So it's to keep the consistency the same. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, you get blueberries one yeah. year, might be sweeter, might be more sour. Okay. Um, so this helps keep that consistency. Yeah. Yeah, like when you, have you ever had blueberries, you've had blueberries that are tart before, right? Yes, I have. Seems I've had more tart blueberries than mm-hmm. the ones that you want it to taste like. Uh, but coming off of October, where I ate box after box after box of blueberry cereal, <laughs> <laughs> this is making me want to have some of this and the cereal together. Yeah. You know? People don't understand how important consist- consistency is with beer. Yeah. Because if you have a beer one place and you go down the street and it tastes completely different, you may not like it. Great point. And then you probably right. won't order it again. So. I was just going to say, then you stop buying it. Right, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, so consistency in the beer world is, you know, that's almost your namesake because, you know, just like McDonald's, I hate to say, you know, just you want consistency because sure. you want the same thing everywhere you yep. go. Yeah. So it's a huge deal. And to, to be able to nail that is awesome. Yeah. Is this on draft at the uh, half wall locations? Yes. Oh. It's on draft. Oh. And, um, <laughs> you can get it at the half wall on 44, by the way. We yeah. did uh, one of my minions yeah. actually <laughs> bottles it to okay. take home. Really? Right. Oh. So, and okay. we do a little wax seal on it to kind of make it look really? a little pretty. So we so, can give it as gifts. So since that location's like six minutes from my house, if I just swung by or whatever, I'm just saying like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, you, you better. You put some wax on me, on the bottle. Well, <laughs> and then uh, I, yeah. I show up waxed or we'll go no, on you, later. You yeah, leave yeah. wax. I might have misunderstood because I was enjoying that flavor <laughs> so much. That's a great beer, man. That is a great beer and a great addition to the fleet at Half yeah. Wall. Well done. Jeez. Agreed. Yeah. Thank you. All right, uh, what, and I I feel like I recognize this last can. What's what's yeah. next? So the last one is uh, Stugel Flugel. Oh yeah, and oh. Um, incidentally, the name Stugel Flugel, Stugel <laughs> doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so what does fl- what does Flugel mean? Flugel is uh, German for wings. Oh, yeah. from what I'm told. So okay. that wasn't intentional, though. That wasn't intentional. Okay. So yeah. from what I understand, uh, when they named this beer originally, they were trying to register names. Every name you name a beer has to be registered through a certain organization to make sure it's okay and approved. Wow. I did um, not know that. Yep. Yeah. So that way nobody's cross, crossing names for one brand to gotcha. another. No confusion. Consistency once again. Right. You, you don't think you're order. ordering something yeah. and you exactly. get something else. So they started throwing names at the wall and the owners finally is like, you know, let's just call it Stugel Flugel. Well, that name was not being used by anyone else. Look at that. <laughs> it works. 
You found it original. It's hard to come up with original stuff, I would imagine, sometimes. Just when you think that nobody's doing it, you find out somebody's, you know, got the got your name. Well, that one's that one's available. Well, not anymore. Half Fall's got that thing on lockdown. So what style IPA is this? Is this is an American Coast, an American uh, style IPA? Yes. Uh and in the sea of IPAs. Now you know that uh there's like you go anywhere you go. There's yeah. And I love a that. I, I love that sea. I love swimming around in it, and right. splashing. <laughs> right, you you get from Shirtless, by the way. light IPAs to yeah. yes. really drop kick in your face IPAs. Yes. Okay. Right? Uh, I wanted to fall in the middle of the road. Yeah, you're drinking an IPA. Um, do I want it malty? Nah, I want it a little more crisp. Yeah. So that's what I tried to. Yeah. Do oh, with this one. just happens to be my favorite kind of IPA. This is the first beer I ever tried a half wall. Do you know that, Steve? There you I go. Know. I do not, now. Not this particular one. That'd be weird if I just saved it and brought it in for the show. But, uh, but this is the first one that I tried in the Half Wall Fleet. And it's hmm. like, it's my, uh, it's probably still my favorite. Although well, that berry's got, it's a fight. Oh. You know, but that, wow, yeah. that's that's outstanding too. Yeah. yeah. Do you tweak it at all? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah? Been, it's been tweaked. Um, I'm glad you noticed because from mm-hmm. that time, uh, sure, yeah. I play around with the uh, hop schedule. Yeah. Uh, how much hops I put in at okay. what intervals, things like that. Right. Um, temperature of the mash, uh, I'll I'll work on. Right, uh, not the monster mash, Steve. Not right, the not monster that, mash. Don't start, yeah, 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 don't, don't start singing it again. No, in, in brewing world, the the mash is where the magic happens. Really, okay. Uh, you could, the temperature could raise too high, you know, get too high, right. and then it's a different beer. Yeah, too low, and and that's a different beer. Right. So sharp finish at the end. Yeah, and I'll be the. You, don't, you don't get it right away. Yep. Yeah, comes at the back, nice. come on, like, comes on the backside. Like you said, it's it's nicely balanced. Mm. It's not a yeah. palate wrecker. You can have a couple right. of these and still enjoy your food. Speaking of food, that the food at Half Wall, fantastic. Oh man, oh, man. Hmm. Yes. yeah, a talk. lot of their food has the beer in it as well. Oh, Correct. yeah, the this is a beer great, that's a great feature. Yeah, barbecue sauce, I believe, as well. Yeah, beer the cheese. barbecue sauce mm. does the Jefficus, yep. which is uh, a a uh, oatmeal um, chocolate yeah. stout. Yeah, and the that goes in the barbecue sauce. We use the uh, really? IPA. Mm-hmm. Uh, in I gotta I gotta think. It's uh, I think the beer cheese. The cheese, yeah, the beer cheese. Too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because uh, I've chugged use... it. I know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a little thick. But... Yeah, yeah, it's... yeah. Now of all the half wall locations, uh, uh, forty four is the uh, the place to be. The New Smyrna. If you want to watch uh, uh, Jr. and his minions do this, you were talking about earlier. Hey, if the temperature gets too high, what are you doing? You're right there over top of the uh, uh, beer uh, tub cauldron whatever it's called <laughs> I do it's a little probably, dance yeah and you see it you can see you guys actually doing the work over yeah. there yeah they got big glass walls you yeah can see yeah the you can come happening. see me they they yeah. say uh jr how do you feel being in a fishbowl yeah. you know because all the glass sure i said it's not a fishbowl to me right. i'm in the aquarium i see all the fishes go right by. that's what <laughs> say. it's like this studio and all these people go drifting by yeah we, we know they're going to the bathroom and they just yeah. act like they're waving we're like we know where yeah but going. they usually throw bananas through the door at steve it's true yeah um, yeah we'll leave breadcrumbs yeah. and stuff yeah. too sometimes just so you don't get lost it's <laughs> yeah, a good idea though put a bell on them maybe well oh thank you Sh- yeah, don't don't no, no, write that down. Bell. No, bell. Put a bell on. Just right Thanks a lot, JR. Right here, a little dangly. <laughs> I'm always trying to help. Now, what? What? Uh, I know you're always working on some other uh, evil brews. Yeah. E- evil science lab. Oh, some fun new. Yeah, there's there. I got a big lineup. Okay. If you go to the half wall in Port Orange. Okay. Mm. Um, she has done a really good job. Uh, Kirsten, uh, GM over there. Okay. A uh, really good job putting all my beers up that I've made. Okay. I've done a Road Pirate, which is a lager. Okay. Very light pirate. Waters. Okay. Uh, I've done a um, raspberry peach sour. Ooh, look out, oh, yeah. Steve. You got to check that out. Steve, that just, Steve just left. He left. He's already going <laughs> over to get that. I do an orange crush. Also a wheat oh, okay. ale, but uh, with oranges, and it okay. really tastes like an orange crush. Nice. Um, I've also done, uh, it's not out yet. Okay. I've done it, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. A uh, coconut and macadamia blonde ale. Oh. I'll tell you what. Oh, my yeah. wife gave me the idea for the concoction. Right. Got nothing to base it off of. Right. Brewed it. Real toasted coconut. Okay. You know, macadamia syrup, because mm. I can't crush the nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> and this thing turned out amazing. Really? Okay. I mean, I was surprised. And I, yeah. I asked my wife, I'm like, is this how you wanted it to taste? She's like, you hit it on the nose. Look at That's that. awesome. And all those limited things. So Port Orange has got all those fun little. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, little small batch. And that's right in my backyard. Here. Yeah, it is. There's uh there's a spice ale. Get it before it's gone. Okay. I call it uh, 
flannels and flip flops. Okay, <laughs> especially with this time of year. Right, yeah. it's perfect. Uh, yeah. So uh, and uh, there's a drunken heifer. Oh, oh yeah. really? Oh. Yeah, eleven yeah. percent right. milk right. stout. Oh, yeah. oh. This thing is nice. That's right. Smooth. <laughs> you feel like you got transported to like a little uh, bourbon room. Really? And just chill out. Ooh, at 11%. It may or may not be named after our old buddy uh, Vinny. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Really? yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> just know that the, your friends at Half Wall are always trying to craft something new and fun for you. And uh, you can go to any of those locations and uh, and try something great all the time. Uh, or and, check and out then, our website. Oh, you mean talk about srprot.com slash beer finder? That would be the one. And you can find those great beers uh, where, Josh? Like right now? Is that, right now, Total Wine. Total, okay. um, Perrine's over in Port Orange. Okay. Oh, it's yep. just over there. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously the Half Wall locations and kind of scattered throughout the county. I love it. All right. Go get them. Uh, we love you guys. I'm going to come over, gonna come oh, over and hang out. Man, gonna so stare, sweet. You got it. I'm just going to stare through the fishbowl. Yeah, okay, people should come out. You see me bopping around in there. Yeah. Open the door. It's always open. Just say, hey, where's my beer? Oh, really? I thought it was I locked. mean, I have a little keyser <laughs> yeah. in the back with the practice, you know, like oh. uh, science. Oh, the experiment. The experiment. Right. 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 little mad scientist. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some are good. Some are bad. <laughs> Some are great. But uh, it's worthwhile checking them out. I love this. All right. Yeah. All right. Always taking care of you. Friends at Half Wall. Well, thank you for uh, bringing us some of these great flavors. And uh, until we see you next time, cheers. 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 Cheers.